Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Tra My name is Composite Energo and today I will be bringing you my review of the Transformers, the movie 2007, the Lux class, Long Arm. And here he is in his <coughs> alt mode. More specifically, this is based off of a uh, Ford F-350 tow truck. And here he is. And it's a pretty cool truck mode. And also, um, a couple things about this guy, about this character. Um, we this is not this is yet another case of the robot was not in the movie. Long arm was not in the movie, but this alt mode was. This tow truck was seen during one of the final moments of the movie, where it, it used this uh, crane here to lift up a, da a bumblebee with uh, whose legs were damaged and sort of dragged them, or I think pushed them back. But yeah. So yeah, this tow truck was in the movie, however, however, the, it's not exactly the same like in the movie. And I'm not talking about this battle damage here, well I'll explain in a, in a bit. It's that, um, in the movie it was called Mike's Towing, yet on this figure it's called Orson's Towing. Now weird thing is that, I've always wondered why did they change it? Because funny enough, there is a more movie accurate repaint of this figure. Yeah, they repainted this guy in um, what was it called? I think it was called the the the, the final battle or movie battle lines or, or 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 whatever. And he was repainted to have Mike's towing on the side of it, which just begs the question: Why did they change the name for this figure? Why not just call him this? Why not just call him Mike's towing from the very beginning? Um. I, I I had a theory. I would like to think that they just wanted to, uh, they just wanted to, they really wanted to put Orson's towing as a reference to Orson Welles, the author who wrote War of the Worlds, which was about, a, a, uh, which is, you know, the classics of, uh, <coughs> sorry, something stuck in my throat, uh, which was uh, War of the Worlds, the classic story about an alien invasion. So, so yeah. That, that's what I'd like to think, is honestly, I don't see any other reason to have Orson's towing on this instead of Mike's towing, other than them wanting to make that reference, or them just really wanting to have two separate toys. So, <coughs> alright. So yeah, this is alt mode. Um, some posability. Oh, one thing I don't like it is that these headlights do not attach to this, they're sort of just floating there. I guess you could do this and it helps, but it, it still looks kind of weird. Even though you can tell it's supposed to be like this. That, that's one little thing I would have liked for them to fix. Also, these, uh, his crane does work. It is very, very posable. Which is nice, it, it, it's, it's an actual functioning crane. Which is nice, you can actually have this thing uh, tow cars. <laughs> Oy. And, oh, might as well mention the battle damage. Uh, you see, back in my Landmine review, I mentioned that Landmine was one of um, two, uh, two, ba uh, what is it, two custom battle damage figures that I had gotten in, a, in an order. Uh, uh, for the first was Landmine, and then the second one was a la long arm here. And I'm not going to lie, I actually prefer long arms custom battle damage a lot more than Landmine. Because, yeah, I actually do like this sort of a uh, burnt-off shaded look. This gray look looks like he just came out of a, uh, of a fight. And then you have the damages here, damages there, damage on the wheels. I actually like it. It looks like he just came out of a fire. It actually looks, like I said, I really like it. Especially in Robo Mode, I think it looks really nice. I also like how the crane has all this nice gray instead of the solid white of the new one. Of, the, of like, a uh, regular one would be. So, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get on to transformation. Come back here. Separate this, and then fold that down, fold it back, fold this back, fold that down, and then separate this, oh, before before that, my bad, lift these up, you have to lift the uh, doors up to give, to make a room for clearance, All right, you separate this, and then you fold these bits down, Then you can uh, separate the arms. There, they're supposed to be like this. Swing them out. F 
fold these back and then come to the front separate and extend for the feet we'll work on the feet later and uh head pull the head up fold that fold these back all that fold these back wings back uh, door wings back now for his uh weapon you could have it as a crane like this but it's what's supposed to be is you fold this back fold this out and just finagle these until it's like this or like this you can do whatever you want I actually like having it like this looks like, it looks like a nice cannon if you have it like that and then the feet fold them go down here pull out the heels and just adjust it to your likings I like folding them a bit and make sure these are up and that's it and here is long arm in his pretty nice robot mode I actually really like this not a huge fan of the, the design of the feet but eh, that's, that's, that's my preference that's just is a, that's a personal issue for me but overall I actually really like this and here is where the custom battle damage actually looks really nice like the they see the worn out face so the guy I got this from did a really nice job on a uh, long arm even the, even he, it looks like even the burning here actually looks really nice it looks like a worn out core the leg like like I actually really like the battle damage on this one and the detailing that the 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 previous owner uh, did on him nice job good job if, like a viewer if you're out there and you recognize this figure um yeah good job on this one landmine was not bad but it could have been better i think le le less use of fire but yeah and let's see, now the figure itself, I like it. I really like the design. Like I said, I, I really like that head. He got really nice orange light piping. I like the Autobot symbol on his forehead. Really cool face. Uh, I don't like that the gun, his cannon, is um, fused to his hand. Like it's bolted on there. It's it's screwed on his hand. I, I don't like that I can't that I, I, I can't remove it. I don't know why they made the decision to do that. When there is a peg for the other hand... To connect to it I mean why have this one screwed in yet this one you just peg in it's weird they could have just had this be the same for both hands but that aside the nit nitpicking aside let's get on to a little bit of a uh, possibility arms that far ball joints you have a uh, if you give it clearance he does have he has double joints on his arms but with all of these all of the stuff in the way you can't really fully use them but he does have double joints on both arms uh, ball joints here, ball joints on the head, and ball joints do what ball joints do. Knee, really nice knee. Go all the way to his uh, chest. And wide range of movements for the arms. Oh, I guess one automorph would be that when you roll this down, this piece uh, goes up. I guess that's an automorph if you really, really want to stretch it. Um, oh, he also is supposed to come with a missile, but I lost it. Because the switch down here for the missile is here. This is the uh, switch to fire his uh, orange missile what he comes with ah, uh, let's see what else I can say um, uh, I like the figure I think he's a really cool design not a big fan of the of the what is it the hood feet but that's okay that's just a minor thing that's just a minor thing for uh, for me um, I would have liked if it, I would have liked some some more articulation in, in the arms or at least more uh, yeah, like more articulation in the arms. I would have liked if they swivel, if like they uh, swiveled or switched over. Oh, the hands are on ball joints. This one is on a ball joint, and so is this one. So pretty nice, nice, nice uh, wrist articulation. I would have liked if these, uh, if the arms could swivel, but eh. Shit. Yeah, what else? What else? What else? Um. Oh, I guess um. I would imagine if they if this guy was repainted. Uh, he said there are two versions of, as I said earlier, there are two versions of long arm. You have the regular basic and then you have the final, the movie, what was it called? I think it was the movie battles line or something. Or the scene battle, or battle scene, like the movie accurate line. There is this version, then there's the more movie accurate version where it says Mike's towing on the side. 
And then there is the, um, and then there is the, um, uh, what else? Uh, two versions of long arm. And then for you Transformers fans out there who can kind of, who kind of saw it, yes, they did repaint him green and called them Hoist. So yeah, there is a green repaint of this, of this mold as the, as the character Hoist. So yeah, overall, overall I really like this figure. I think this is a really nice solid, uh, solid figure. And, uh, articulation could be a little bit better, especially in the arms, because he has double joints, but y you don't, you can't use them with all the panels in the way. Uh, I like his gun. I also like that you can have the option of like pulling it out and having it be the hook instead of the arm, instead of the cannon. So you have a uh, you have uh, options there. But I don't like that it's fused to his hand. And one other, and I guess one other, I don't, I don't remember who I bought it from because it was years ago. But and I guess shout out to um whoever I bought this for this and landmine from. Uh, good job on the custom battle damage. If you were the one that did it, good job. It was really nice on la on long arm and and pretty good on landmine. So yeah, this is this is uh this has been my review of the Transformers movie 2007 deluxe class long arm. I really like this figure. I recommend it. It's really cool. Either him, his movie accurate Mike's towing repaint, or even the uh, green repaint of, and the green uh, repaint of uh, as hoist. So yeah. Long arm, this is Composite Energy, signing off. Peace out.